<laughs> Hello, you guys. My alarm just going off casually. Hello. Happy Thursday. How are we doing? What's up? Hey, Madge. Good to see you. It's Thursday. The huge. Painting some fun today. Fun and casual. <laughs> okay, yeah, I didn't know. What's a better way to word that? Come paint a firefly. Fireflies? Is it a fireflies with an S or did I say firefly? Just one. I don't have enough characters to be like, come paint a night scene with some fireflies. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, let me, I forgot to put on music. Story of my life. But yeah, just like a scene with some fireflies. Um, I haven't put on a trailer yet because I'm the most unorganized person ever. I'm sorry. I will. I will have a trailer, you guys. It's just hard for me to like go through these hours and hours and hours of um, screen time, paint nights, and clip stuff. Um, but it's coming. I promise. It'll happen. One day. <laughs> but it is exciting. Yes, what Madge is talking about, Caffeine has trailers now, you guys. So that if you come to one of our pages or one of our one of the partner's um, profiles, when we are offline, you'll still be able to like get a little taste of what we're doing. Um, Kenzie wants is offering to do a movie voiceover for mine. Yes. That we need that. I would appreciate that. <laughs> what type of things would you say? Like, just a girl slobbing paint around on a cabin. <laughs> no? 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 Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, why is it shaking? Just earthquaking here today. I honestly thought that this was going to be a good one. Because it's like a little bit like easier. People always worry that my paint nights are hard. I don't think they are. But maybe some people stress out, but this one is like, you guys, we're gonna go blue, green, yellow spots, and we're done basically. Oh, acid sharing my broadcast. Thank you also, hi. Welcome to the stream. Good to see ya. Have you painted that zebra yet? Just asking. Yes? And? How'd it go? Oh, there. Successful, fun. You got a sleepy zebra. <laughs> hey, there's nothing wrong with that. There's such thing as sleepy zebras, okay? Nothing wrong with that. Thank you. Okay, I'd love to see it. You guys, this is for everyone watching on YouTube too. I love to see your painting. Even if you just DM them to me or something, I love to see what you guys come up with. To be honest, like it's been pretty cool. I've been getting some DMs from people all over the world doing the pay nights and that just... I don't even know how to handle that, you guys. It's the coolest to hear. Um... Sorry, this is... Yeah! Yeah, there was Germany, France, or somebody in England. It's so cool. Those are just off the top of my head. Um, so yeah, I love that. The paint night. Yeah, proud. <laughs> Me too. A little sniff over here too. Magic, you sweet soul. Um, yeah, it is really cool. I appreciate it a lot. Um, and that's why we're just going to keep going and doing cool stuff. Like this one's pretty different. Like, oh, backwards. Still haven't figured it out yet. Um, we haven't done something like, I wouldn't call this landscapey, but it's a little bit less like objecty than other ones and like characters. Um, oops. Gosh, phone silent in the class, you guys. Um, let's see. Who's painting today? Should I just start going for it? 
I know everybody on YouTube is probably like, why do you just talk forever? Like, get to the business. Am I right? I'm actually also going on... We're going to the mountains tomorrow. So I'm actually not working for the weekend, which is kind of nice. I need a little bit of a refreshy. There's Kenzie, who I'm going with in the comments. Whee! So there's a lot of things I have to do tonight before we go, which pack is one of them, but also just a lot of work things. Um, actually, let's see if you guys can see what my studio floor looks like right now. You can. So see down on the ground. Those are a bunch of prints all packed and ready to go with their tags. Um, I have to reprice some stuff and re-inventory. It's literally lava. I do have to crawl around there when I get over there. So... There's a lot of stuff going on here. How's that? There we go. Um, so let's just get this show on the road. See if it's a quick one. I don't know. That'd be nice, right? I know two hours isn't ideal for everybody. Um, we are going to start with some blue, some black, and some white. Okay. For people who care. Sorry for those close-ups there. Oh, Justin! Hello, hello. He's asking if these are Putin Unistars. Just a nice little way to throw in a prop in there. Sneaky bugger, isn't he? Um, Magical Firefly Stars, okay? Also, hello, Bubsy. Are you out in the mountains right now? Because I'm jealous. We're going to bounce. Who knows what we're going to do. But it'll just be nice to get some mountain air. Eat some foods. Eat. See? Look at that. There we go. The blue I'm using is Prussian blue. But again, use whatever blue you've got in your wheelhouse. Take photos to pretend like we're hiking. That's a good one, too. I know my parents were, like, offering me, like, shoe spikes. that like, So you can hike in the winter. And I was like, oh, we ain't going on those type of hikes. <laughs> that's tough and haven't you heard in alberta you got we can't do strenuous exercise okay, so. <laughs> just kidding okay i'm just getting black blue white and black onto my palette and remember when you're taking out paints black take out the least um it's a very powerful pigment it'll go along a little go a long way Can you guys hear my music today, or am I just raving alone over here? Which is fine. It's probably best that you guys can't hear my music, and then you at home just listen to what you want. It's a little low. Is that a good or a bad thing, you guys? I don't know. Okay. Because it is like crazy dubstep. Wow! All right, ladies and gents. One thing that's different about this painting today compared to other days is we don't really need to draw anything out. We don't really have to map anything. It's literally, we're just going to start throwing some paint down, okay? Which is, in my opinion, the best part. I'm going to get a big old brush out. I got a big square one just because I personally like square brushes, but... You can use like a pointed one. If those are so big, like if you don't have something that big, that's fine. Just like something bigger than this. You know what I mean? Like then a little thin um, outlining paintbrush. I don't know why I just forgot that word for a second. Okay. Like I said, I'm just grabbing a square one. Um, we're going to get your paintbrush wet. Can you see a little bit? Hmm. Let me turn this a touch so that you can see when my hand goes into the water. So I'm going to get my brush nice and wet. And I'm going to start by going into my blue. Mix it around in there, okay? Oh my gosh, all my angles are just off. Sorry guys, just poorly organized today. Ah! Okay, we'll just stick with that. Okay, and see how my paintbrush is wet and I'm going to spin it kind of around in my paint i'm in my blue at the moment 
because I want to get every bristle filled with paint. I'm going to go back into my water for a second, come back in there, and then let's just start slobbing some paint onto the canvas, okay? Are you ready? My microphone's kind of in the way, so we'll see how she goes. Oh my gosh, Taylor, I just... Okay. And let's just start at the top. And we're just gonna start pulling the paint across. Wow, I'm gonna need a lot more water. This paintbrush is holding that paint in there well. And I'm just gonna go left to right, okay? I'm not going up and down. I'm not going side to side. Well, I am going side to side. But I'm not going up and down. I just wanna go left and right or right to left to keep that smooth texture in there you can go all the way to the side you can leave it a little brushed on the edges if you want okay so we're gonna quickly and roughly just kind of slob on some paint slob tm <laughs> and we're bringing it across there's some chunks in there i don't know why Slop till you drop. <laughs> slop till you drop. Let's slop with a P. That's probably a more appropriate word from the beginning. Isn't slop like pig slop? Isn't that what you feed pigs? You really don't have to go all the way to the bottom. I don't really know why I did that, actually. See, I'm going back into the paint into the water so that I can pull that paint around. Do, 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 do. Solid colors are your type of painting. Okay, here we go. See, for me, it like stresses me out because I like, don't want it to be smooth. I mean, I want it to be smooth and sometimes it's hard. Okay, Acid's happy, thinks the painting's done. Quickest paint night of all time, you guys. <laughs> I just realized I didn't go over any of the rules. I didn't do... Sorry, guys. Just come paint with me. <laughs> Have fun. That's rule number one and done. Okay, so now that we have a lot of that paint laid out, it's okay if you're still going. Don't stress out. You're going to go and get your paintbrush filled with blue. And then we're going to add a little touch of black in there. Remember a little bit because it is a powerful pigment, right? We've got blue and black on our brush. I'm telling Justin. So don't tell Justin. I don't want to get in trouble. All right, we've got that paintbrush loaded with black and blue. And we're going to start at the very top. And we're going to start pulling that paint down. Remember that water is our friend. You guys don't know that because I didn't tell you the rules, but I'm telling you now <laughs> that water is your friend. Justin just came back panicked. It's honestly nothing. They're actually just tattling on me um, because I forgot to do the start. I didn't do the rules. I didn't do... Welcome to Tay Tacy's Paint Night. I just... I failed everyone and they said, God tell Justin. Okay, so see how we are mayday. <laughs> see how that dark black and blue, we're pulling it down into the blue we have until it does a nice little blend in. If your colors aren't blending nicely, remember that water is your friend and you can go in with just water if you want to kind of pull that color across. How's that looking? Can you see that transition on your okay, on the screen pretty well? And guess what? Paint is so forgiving. Acrylic paint is really easy. You can paint over top. Um, you can put paint over top of your mistakes. If anything looks weird or off, like let's just go right back in. We cleaned off our brush and now we have only blue on our brush and we're just gonna go back into this spot. And pull that blue up. And then guess what? You guys were doing the opposite. Okay. 
We are coming from the bottom. We're gonna go into our blue. We don't want black on our brush. We want just blue. And then we're gonna get a touch of white on our brushes. Again, get nice water in there. It's just blue and white. And we're gonna go from the bottom here. Oops, look, there's black on my brush. I breaking my own rules here. Just clean that brush off a little bit better. And we want water on our brush because water is our friend. And again, we're going to go from the bottom. We don't have to fill the whole thing. We're going to put grass down here so it's not really a big deal if we don't fill it in all the way. And I might have screwed up a little bit because my paint kind of dried once I kind of did that little mess up a bit. But I'm just going to keep adding some water to my brush. I want to be redundant and annoying. <laughs> and we're going to pull it on up. And look at that nice, smooth, blendy we've got going on. Oops. <laughs> See, like, mm, that's a little lighter than I anticipated. So I'm just going to clean my brush off. I'm going with a relatively clean brush and just water. And again, just like pull that baby across. How's that? Ooh, that's like nice and smooth and fun. I don't paint this smooth very often. But how is that? We go from dark to blue to light, right? What is this? My lighting's a little harsh today. I'm just gonna add a little bit of that black, blue. Joe Kaiser! Yo, you came, you showed up pretty early today. Usually you're just sneaking in at the end and sad that you missed out and today you're here. How's that? I'm just gonna leave it like his. We kind of have to let our paint dry a little bit. So we are just going to chill. You can touch this up as much as you want. Like, depending on how picky you are, you could play with this blending forever. For the sake of the paint night, I'm going to leave it. And because I can just hear Justin being like, you're being picky. Okay. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. I'm not one to criticize that. No, not for yourself, but on me sometimes. Remember, you're like, you're just being nitpicky, Taylor. Like, drop it. And you're like, you're right. You're not wrong. Okay. How's that pretty blend of a squai? I'm happy with it. I think it looks good. What we're gonna need next is black and green. What green am I gonna use? Oh gosh, you guys, look how long my little back head is. If you just saw me from there up, it's just a little boy. That's what I always call it. I'm like, my hair has reached little boy length. And I'm not impressed. Olivia B, this is your first live? Are you painting along? How's it going? Welcome to the studio. We love newbies. Am I growing it out? No, not on purpose. No. I just like can't shave it myself. I don't have the, you can see when I have tried, I like shave out some little babes by accident. Look at the like, Welcome committee in the comments right now. It's going amazing. I finally got the nerve to follow along live instead of YouTube. 
Olivia. Yes. I love that. See everyone on YouTube. Lives are fun. If the time persists. Not persists. Some time zones don't work. That's fair. That's fair. I accept that. But permits. What did I say? Why do I feel like I said permits? What did I say instead? Persists? Sorry, guys. <laughs> I need Justin to be around all the time to just tell me the words that I actually don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, Kenzie, why have you never done it? I don't know. Do you want to shave it tomorrow before we go? Perfect. Also, RCV, little Tay Tay Ski. Yo! What's up? How's it going? I love Justin. Oh, sorry. I just like avoided it completely. <laughs> just kidding. Yo, I do. Okay. Are we ready? We're going to let that dry a little tiny bit. We don't want it to be wet. Okay, RCV is asking me about NFT art, and I am going to be honest. I don't really know. I don't really understand it. I think it's cool. Like, so many people are posting about it, and it seems like it's this new digital version of art. <laughs> but I honestly don't know what it is yet. I'm not against it. I'm not, not against it at all. I just truthfully have not really sat down to understand it yet. Um, and Justin is saying he's on it because he's my momager and he he always finds me and helps me out in these little avenues. I know I understand that it's something that I have to understand. I think it's like the next new... I feel like it's Bitcoin for art. Is that like a... Is that like a good way to describe it? Yeah, 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 yeah. So... Like I said, not against it at all. I just have, truthfully have not had the time to really understand it. NFT creating pretty crazy electronic pollution. Interesting. See, it's so interesting to get all the different like opinions and avenues and everything. Like I said, not against it. I'm very interested to learn more. Somebody just sent me a couple. I. It's just funny you ask because this week, like multiple people have asked me and talked about it. And I just like, it obviously shows that I need to learn more about it um all right kitties nico oh, also hi nico good to see you um if i get on it please document it well guys i i do document most i promise i don't do much private things you guys are usually aware of everything going on. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, at least. Okay, let's get some fireflies going. Except Muckman. <laughs> Just puke. <laughs> okay, Justin. Okay, sorry, you guys. This is my last tangent, I promise. What time is it? 8.30. Okay, um, Justin, um, my friend V, who was watching our um, paint, it's not paint night, when we had our last games night, and she's the one from Australia who was there. She messaged me saying she had so much fun and was so happy that I saved the Yoda when you were a little baby Yoda, having your own little baby Yoda mukbang. Because <laughs> she was like, I still laugh about it sometimes. Like during the day, she'll just randomly think about you being baby Yoda. Just yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Anyway, if you guys don't understand what we're talking about, it's in my highlights. It's fine. <laughs> also, side note number four, we have another games night coming. Is it Friday? Friday the 19th. Mark your calendars. Games night with Kenzie, Justin, and I. We had so much fun last time. Let's make it happen. Okay. This should be dry by now, everybody. We're going to get out like a little... Oh, where's my camera? <laughs> I'm just like... <laughs> We're going to get out like a medium-sized brush. A little bit smaller than the other one. I would suggest a pointed one, but not the end of the world if you don't have a pointed one. So we are going to start with a touch of black. And remember, just a touch because it's strong. And we're going to add some green in there. Whatever green you want. If you want to see what I'm using, I'm using a sap green permanent. And as I'm coloring it, I don't really like it, but that's fine. 
Dresden. Hello, hello. Good evening. Hope everyone's safe and well. Because you're an angel always worrying about us all. All's good up here. Hope the same down there. So we've got black, green, basically black. We don't want much green in there. We want it to be pretty dark because we're going to go dark to light. We're going to start painting in little black wispies in the background. And then we'll add some light ones on top and it'll be perfecto. Okay? We want a good chunk of water on our brush. We don't want too much. We want more paint than water. Also, Kenzie, want to play a game? I actually, I got to grab the shirts we made. Okay, so we can decide roughly where you want to start your grass. I feel like you want some of your light color, right, of white um, in there. I'm going to go a little bit underneath here. And we're just going to start by doing some wispy. Weep, 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 weep. You heard something about games. Heck yeah. Friday the 19th. We didn't pick a time. You guys, what time? I haven't even made an ad for it yet. I was going to do that today or tomorrow on the way to Banff. When the sun hits 90 degrees. Oh my gosh, March 19th, Justin. I went along with that, too. I didn't even question it at all. Wow. Fired. <laughs> okay, guys, we're just doing some wispy. I'm, like, really light. Like, look how far back I'm holding my paintbrush. I'm hardly pressing the canvas at all. If it starts to get a little sandpapery, I'm going to add some water in there. And we're just going to do some irregular shapes back and forth over each other. Over top each other. Sorry. Justin, where am I? <laughs> How did I get here? How did I fast forward through February, make it to March? You guys, fun fact. Justin's basically been home. For what? Has it been a year? Is the year? Have you hit your year, March? Okay, it's not at noon, Justin. I don't think we picked a time yet. I'll have to get back to you on the time. <laughs> Kenzie works till five. Oh yeah, right. Justin probably works too. I'm the irresponsible one over here, just forgetting about jobs. And you probably want to like live your life a little bit before you go right to live. We should eat some dinner, right? Anyway, we had so much fun last time, guys. Justin's saying if we don't tell Caffeine, he'll be there whenever while we're literally streaming live on Caffeine. So that's a good plan. <laughs> How's the grass going, you guys? Should we do a zoom in? This is, let's see here. Hello, Kraken. Two, two, three. How are you doing? Let's get, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Why is just nothing working for me right now? Let's get that grass going. Oops. <laughs> there you go. Well, just uh, ignore that. Nothing to see here, folks. Oh, crack and saying I'm pretty. Why, thank you. Appreciate it, you kind soul. Okay, painters, how are we doing with some wispy grass? I feel like I just left you astray and was just gabbing about next week and I didn't even tell y'all what to do. Nice art. Thank you. If you come back every Thursday, I teach y'all how to paint something new. Today, it is fireflies. I forgot to say at the beginning, I'm the worst. This is not my original painting. The signature at the bottom says Shayna. Usually I try to find the like either website or um, information of the artist and I put it in my YouTube just so I people don't think that I'm stealing their work. I think they should get credit as well. 
Okay, how's that wispy grass? Perfect. I truthfully think that I made the white a little dark, but not dark, a little low, but whatever. Okay, and then now that you got those wisps, you're going to keep using that black green color, which again, remember, it's like mostly black. We can basically color in this whole thing pretty solidly. You don't really have to worry about it looking grassy. Add some water in your paint and just kind of pull it around. Okay, okay, okay. You can probably use a bigger brush than this. I don't really know why I'm making it so painful on myself, but just we'll just go with that. Do, do, do. Quality, you know, it's great. Just <laughs> just beautiful. Look, good to go. Seems like fussing to me, Justin. Sorry I offended you with the fuss and comment here. Let's get it. Actually, you know what? We should probably bring it all the way down. Why don't we? If you add some straight water to your brush, let's add some drips or something. That's fun. If you want, you can paint it straight all the way to the bottom. But if you want to add some tay tasty texture, that should be another trademark, right, guys? TM shows up on the bottom. Ilum would be so proud. You know what? 50-50, because he likes them being up. He likes up drips. That is the difference. I don't know if we have room for up drips today in this guy. Only the up drips. He only approves. You guys, I literally snuck in up drips into my children's book not snuck in like i manually drew it in because most of my book was digital so i couldn't really like actually do it um just for Ella. which is actually side note you guys again i hate to always to do my <laughs> self-promotion i guess but my children's book our children's book i don't like calling it mine the author's name is megan ward our children's book comes out March 30th on Amazon, on Barnes and Noble and Indigo. I'll be selling signed copies because people have been asking and I didn't know that was an option that people would want that, but it's happening and I'll take it. Um, but you can find all the information on the wonders that I find.com. I'm really excited about it. It's a huge deal for my career. It's in my first published book. We illustrated it through a pandemic. I only saw my author, I think, in person once or twice. Everything was through FaceTimes and Skypes. And just kidding, Skype, what an old word. Zooms, right? Okay, how's our grass coming along? Like I said, some of you might want to bring that all the way to the bottom. Maybe we should... I'm just looking at the photo we're using and it's not, it's painted right to the edge and it looks so nice and clean and that's so unlike me. Let's do it. And so us working dark to light. So we have this really dark, almost black um, background. This looks like a horror movie and you like it? Well, then you should probably stop here because it's about to get cute. Okay. Okay, bye. <laughs> Kenzie leaves. <laughs> Kenzie, you like horror and cute, okay? Cuties. Nice, Justin. I haven't pulled a cutie in a long time, hey? Yeah, Kenzie, you are cute and horror-filled. Nothing wrong with that. Sorry, guys. The lives just turned into me, Justin, Kenzie, hanging out. Sorry. 
So we've got to let that green dry. Sorry, not sorry. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> we've got to let this dry. And so what we're going to do while we are letting that dry, we're going to take out our yellow. And our yellow today, look what I bought, you guys. Cadmium free yellow medium. I'm trying to get things that I'm not allergic to. I don't know what the difference, like why, why can everyone with it and one without? Like what's the, why don't you just, I don't know. It just makes no sense to me. No sneezing, hopefully not. But then if I do sneeze, then we have, well then we know the problem's something else, I think. Alrighty then. We have yellow, but we also need to have white on our palettes. And I am gonna just, not just be <laughs> get it out Taylor just a heads up some people's paints might not work well with this um you may need to make a little white spot before you make a yellow spot let the white spot dry and then put the yellow on top of it that may have to happen for some of you and that's totally okay I'm just letting you know but we are going to want another, again, a smaller brush with a pointed tip on it of some sort. I'm parched. Um, we are about to make our little fireflies, okay? Even if you are not worried about your paint, um... Like if you don't think you have to do the white spot with the yellow, you still are going to have to put white into your yellow, okay? So we're going to add a little white to our yellow so it's a little bit brighter. Oh, this yellow is a little, eh. It's a little different than what's in our example, but that's fine. So I've added a little bit of white to our yellow just to make it a little bit more opaque. Guys, I know I get these words wrong all the time. I just, there's not enough room in my brain. <laughs> okay. And at first, you might want to change your paint water. It might kind of muck up your yellow a little bit. But we're going to imagine where the jar is going to go. We're not going to draw the jar first, but we're going to be aware of where it is, like roughly right here. Okay. And the circles that are in the jar are going to be the biggest. You can even do them over top the grass we already did. Like, let's do a little circle right here. It's more paint than water because you want it to go on pretty opaquely. When we do the little glow marks around the yellow spots, that is when we are going to want to make it that translucent kind of color. But for now, while we're laying them out, let's just draw a couple circles. You might need a little bit of water on your brush to help you pull it around. You don't want to push too hard on your brush. You kind of want to only use the tip of it. Why is this so hard for me to draw this circle? Yeah, guys, my nose isn't reacting. I'm not itchy. Cadmium's the culprit. And this is going to be so random. We don't really have to follow the reference photo. You can make as many circles as you want. Always start smaller and then make them bigger as you go. Cadmium free! I love those fireworks. Thank you. Wow, this paintbrush isn't good. <laughs> Why? My shaky little hands can't do it. So remember, it'll be very way easier to make a circle bigger than smaller. So like I said, I would suggest just kind of making them a little bit smaller. And then as we go and fill up the whole page, then we can start making them a little bit bigger if you want. A 
And we're going to use the same, I don't know, technique. Technique's the right word. Maybe theory is a better word. Where objects closer to us are bigger and farther away are small. So like the same as here. We did our little wispy grass lines. But when we're going to do these close up ones, we're going to do bigger thicker blades of grass and that's going to be able to trick our eye to show that like oh things that are close are big and things that are far are small so we can apply that same thing to our little um what should we call them fireflies so like we can imagine that there's some in the background and they're just tiny little dots okay like little spots you know what we could even do maybe we should even splatter some yellow ones Maybe that would be fun. Hello, Tender Bear. May everybody have a fly Thursday night. I always love your introductions when you get in here. You're the best. Also, did you become huge all of a sudden? What do you mean? Like, my face here big? <laughs> love the splatter. Okay, maybe let's put some splatter. Let's go. I'll do a couple of little spots back here. Again, you can play around with bigger and smaller ones. But see already, just looking at this, like your eye already assumes that those are farther away. Because they're just little and small, right? Okay, so Olivia likes the splatter. We should make it happen. Um, My water's a little dirty. I'm just going to... Because I'm lazy, I'm just going to get my spray bottle. So... If your water's clean, you can do like the same thing that we always do where you scoop water from your um, water tray onto your palette right by your yellow, okay? And you mix your water. Well, you got it. Let's go far away for now. Remember, you guys, I always say you want to place down some maybe some protection when you're splattering. If you're on a carpet, if you're on a table, if you're by a wall. Splatter is messy. I'm a mess, so I get it on myself easily. It's so not a problem. I'm in a studio where paint's everywhere, but for some of you, I don't want to get you in trouble with your parents or your landlords. Okay. So see here how I brought all that water onto my palette, and I added my paintbrush in there till I got like a chocolate milky consist. Oh, no, I did it into my dirty water. To a chocolate milky consistency. Hey, Max Brown. Woo. Thanks for the bomb and thanks for the beautiful. Does that look cool so far? All right, so see how there's a bead forming at the bottom of my paintbrush? That's kind of what we want. We want our paint to be nice and chocolate milk consistency. And it's gonna be messy. When you splatter, it's gonna be uncontrolled. So you have to be ready and prepared that there's gonna be more splatter where you don't. Maybe you might not want it, okay? So I always say, let's say like a hangs loose away from your painting and you're going to flick, like I flick the paint, the brush itself. Okay. You can even pull if you want to pull it instead, or you can flick it. Some people like to flick the bottom of the paintbrush so they're not too messy. That's okay too. Um, or you can hit it with another paintbrush like this if you want. Uh, but I just like to get my hands dirty. So I like to just... Flick the paintbrush. Maybe let's zoom in a little bit on there. And I'm flicking it just lightly to get some little tiny splatters in the back. Some nice texture. They could be stars. They could be fireflies. I don't know. They could be whatever you want them to be. Okay. And then now you can go back in with your yellow that you already had, but not the watered down version, the nice full paint version that we have. And you can make, again, go back in and let's make some more. Controlled and bigger size. This paintbrush just isn't working for me. Wandering veteran. Hello. Hey, that's actually funny that you came. 
because somebody was asking me about NFT art and I said, wow, so a lot of people have been asking me and I know that you probably, I'm assuming you responded to our last message. I just hadn't got it yet. Because he's explained to me what it is. I just have to go listen to the voice memos. Somebody asked if I knew and I said, I don't know anything. <laughs> Good. I appreciate that. I just haven't had time to listen to it yet, but I am going to go. How's that? Wandering veteran has wandered in. The depexulative risk? Oh my god, okay. <laughs> okay. I was honestly like, never heard that word in my life. Where have I been? And you actually meant speculative. Perfect. <laughs> okay. We're just going through putting some fireflies around. This is kind of, I guess, this can be as long or as slow as a process as you want. You can put as many as you want. I don't want mine to be too... I'm cut in half. <laughs> yeah. Wow! Usually I'm cut right beside it and my arm just looks like super long. Just like, wow. Um, I personally don't want to make my fireflies too big. I don't want them to look too cheesy. I'm probably that's about the size I'm going to go. And this is something too. Once we draw that jar and we draw that glass that we will be able to continue on. Like we can add more if you need. Not a problem. But keep that like distance in mind, like that far away is smaller and close is bigger. And you can kind of play with that. Like we're going to go from big and then maybe they'll go small again as they kind of float away in the distance. I don't know. It feels like you're managing to draw sideways. I know if my hand's like this, it does. I actually am kind of drawing sideways. If we had a, the paint, like this is where the painting would be if I was painting straight, right? but it's over here. So I am kind of painting sideways. And I'm cross-eyed, you guys, so the depth perception is just wild over here. Good thing we're just painting little circles. <laughs> How's that in there? Are we happy with our little fireflies? Let's do another one here. When will I hit a million followers? Hey. You're asking the wrong gal. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? You know what, though? I'm actually very close on YouTube to being able to monetize on there. You need a thousand followers, and I have like 702, maybe. So this is just a subtle, guys. If you could go follow me on YouTube. I just need like 300 more and I can start making money off of YouTube, which would be nice. As an artist, having multiple avenues of income is important. Okay. I'm just kind of getting carried away with these. I'm having fun. You're going to start uploading soonish yourself. I know. See, I... The only reason I have YouTube content right now is because of this, you guys. Like, I'm recording this. I'm going to pop it right onto my YouTube. I don't even edit it because mama ain't got time. But I want to make, like, real content on my YouTube. I've been talking to some video people. To start making some stuff, some vlog type and some informative type and some whatever, whatever. So I think YouTube's cool and I like that videos can stay forever. While well, Instagram is pretty instant. Instagram and TikTok are pretty instant. Um, and stuff kind of gets lost after a long time. But YouTube stuff stays around a little bit longer, which is nice. Okay. Are we ready to draw a jar? You hit 1K two years ago, but kind of stepped away. Hey. That happens. 
That happens. Social media can be exhausting. Okay, you guys, when it comes to the jar, I just, I'm not saying you should be stressed. I just know people and I know that many of you are probably going to be a little bit stressed about drawing the jar. You shouldn't be, but you could. Some of you might feel more comfortable starting with a pencil. That's totally fine too. Lightly using a pencil. You can lightly use a little piece of chalk if you want, or you can go straight on with a pen. I mean, with a paintbrush, like I'll teach you. Don't be scared, okay? But know that it's okay if you feel uncomfortable and you don't. If paint feels just too permanent for you, feel free to go in with a pencil or any of the above things I just mentioned. Dresden's got a crash. Thanks for sharing. Everyone have a great evening. Thank you, Dresden. Have a good night. Be safe. Have fun. And let's get a jar on the go. I am going to, this one for me is going to be like, if you look at the picture over here, see how there's one just kind of like coming out of the jar. That's kind of where I'm going to place the jar. That's how I'm going to decide. But remember, you can make the jar as tall as you want, as fat as you want. You can put it in the middle. Like the world's your oyster. Okay. I'm going to get, not this paintbrush because I hate it. We're going to get a skinnier brush. Okay. Pointed usually helps as well. And we want pure white. My palette's a little compromised here. We want pure white, but we do want some water on it, especially as we're doing our first few little passes. It's good to have some water um, in your paint so it's a little bit translucent. And again, I always mix my brush around to make sure that all the bristles are filled. Okay. So this is kind of where it's hard for me because I am painting on an angle. So bear with me while I draw the first opening of our jar. And it's basically just a circle, but just acknowledge that it's not a perfect circle. We want it to be a little flat, right? Like we want it to be an oval. And so the best way to even start that is we can just draw the first top opening line. And then we're just going to oval it. And like, look how daintily I'm touching the page. Like you're not pressing very hard. It's not super smooth. It's okay if it's a little rough and messy. Okay. I can't breathe when I do that. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit here. Nice oval. Thanks, man. See how I made it a little bit thicker on the side close to us? You can use that same concept as we were using with the fire. Like, what's closer to us is bigger, right? So maybe this is a little bit thicker on the front. Hello, Kiki. How you doing? Welcome to the Studs. Okay, so we've got that oval down. Tough, right? Take a big breath. We're fine. We're gonna decide roughly where we want the bottom of that jar to go, right? So let's just make a line mocking that bottom one we did. And that's gonna be like the neck of the jar that we're looking at down here, right? I want to make the jar bigger. Please and thank you. There we go. Let's see what I mean. This line that I just made, I'm imagining it's the bottom of the jar. But guess what? Since it's so not permanent, if you wanted to make it a little bit longer, you could like make another line underneath it. Whatever. Doesn't matter. So the paintbrush is wet with white on it. And from the sides of our jar, we're just gonna make some wiggly lines. Wiggle, 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 all the way down to that spot that we just did. 
And same over here. Let's just make some wiggle, wiggle, wiggle lines. Sorry the camera doesn't seem very clear for some reason, but that's fine. Just walked in from work, Kiki. I guess that's true. Every time you come, you are just getting home from work. That's how the time my stream overlaps your schedule. Okay, from the bottom of that last little squiggle, we're going to bump the line out like a jar, right? We wanted to get a little bit thicker with a little curve. And from there, just pull that line on down. Right over top our grass. See how I went over top there? Remember we're using a little bit of water. It's not pure, pure paint. We kind of are okay with it going on a little bit. Translucent-y. We're gonna go on the other side too and make that little bump. And bring that guy on down. Okay. My nose is getting itchy now. What am I allergic to? You like my thumb tat? Thank you, my little Saturn. It's for my sweet boy, Daniel. I kind of want some color in it. I kind of want the artist that did like this watercolory paint to like do that kind of on my hands, but I don't know if she will. Some artists don't like working on hands and that's fine. Okay. So we've got that jar. Hello, Ashlyn. How you doing? Okay, now we're gonna add some other little additions to this jar, okay? But now we wanna add a lot more water to our paint. We kind of wanted that chocolate milky consistency. We don't want it to go on thick. We want it to go on pretty watered down because we want that look of like see-through, like a see-through jar, right? And we do that by adding some water to our brush. And we're gonna come through very lightly. Let's just make a little line under here. It's gonna look almost the same, but it's gonna dry. The camera's making that look the same color as the line above it, but I promise you it's gonna dry. Translucent tea. Cause there's more water than paint in there. And same here, like let's keep doing that. We can make another line, another line. We're kind of mocking that shape of that jar. If you're worried that it's not gonna dry fully, you can dab it a little bit. Just restarted your Animal Crossing. That's a game that I wish I had time to play because I know I would love it, but I don't download it for that reason. Because I'll just spend all my time playing it. Okay, so we've got this water down consistency and let's just make like a little line on down on the side there. My nose is itchy again. And this is really watered down. It's drying on very, I know I just keep saying the same stuff over and over again, but it's drying translucent. See how it's sticking where I'm playing keep away. Like I don't want it to touch the line exactly. Where it's just doing some little highlight. Oh, that's probably a weird spot. I don't know if you want that there too. <laughs> We're too far gone. And again, really water down. We can go right over top of that firefly. And we are just covering in that little spot. Some of you can maybe with your hand, you wanna rub, <laughs> should you say with your hand, just rub one out a little bit. Um, rub the paint a little bit. You can soften up those edges. Word up, Tay, you're pretty dope. Kiki, you always just come in here and just pump my tires. Thank you so much. I'm still using that watered down consistency and we're just making some rough little lines down the side. How is that? can maybe play with some of the thickness in there. I'm just tap tapping around. We're just trying to make it look, heard rum went out. I know I said rum went out like a loser. <laughs> like not the appropriate term. <laughs> That's why it's plus 17. <laughs> okay, so. Looking good, Tay. Thanks, Bubsy. 
Ashlyn loves this painting. Okay, amazing. I hope you try it. And again, remember, like, there's nothing fully permanent. Like, if you're a little bit mad that maybe you made this line a little too thick, I'm going to go in with my blue and a touch of white. And you can really, if you want, go in and, like, fill in that line. Right? Like, you can paint away any issue if you want. I know, Ashlyn, I know that the only problem is that we've already done jellyfish on the on the stream. On my YouTube, we've already done jellyfish. But I did promise you that we could do it, so I do have to. Um, what's the word? I do have to go along with my promise. It'll have to be a day where I tell people to paint their canvas black first. And you'll really have to be sure that your paint quality is good to paint over top the black, you know? That's the only thing I'm worried about. Because if you have a crappy cut, like quality of paint, you're going to have a very hard time doing that black on, um, like painting color on black, you know what I mean? Oh, I don't really know why I just did that. I got distracted. Well, again, see how this is drying like cloudy? That's because there's more water than paint in the concoction we were using there, okay? Okay. And see, like, now that we have our jar out and we look at the whole painting as a, like, at the whole painting as a whole. And we look at the whole thing, like now maybe you can place your, some more fireflies. Maybe you think it's empty in some spots. Maybe you see where some more can go. My water's so dirty, so all my colors are just getting a little muddy. Hmm, where should we put some more? Put one right there. Do, do, do. And then, so what do we got? We've got to do some grains of grass and some little highlights on our fireflies and then we be done people I'm just getting carried away with fireflies right now to be honest I just feel like it's not balanced this is where my finicky designer brain comes in but that's fine okay Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what should we do first? Should we go for the grass or the highlights? I am going to make this guy bigger too. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Stop me. Let's do it. Let's go for our little yellow highlight. So this is very similar to what we just did with the white. With the watered down white, we're going to do a watered down yellow to do these little fling, fling, fling around are um fireflies to make them look like they're glowing and again we want way more water than paint probably more than our chocolate milky consistency um that we are used to because we want it to be so faint so add more water than you actually think that you have to okay and I'm using, again, just the same brush we were using before. I'm using this, like, 
ridiculously watered down yellow, maybe a touch of white in it. And we're literally just gonna, f oh, I'll zoom in. Oh my goodness, hello, Adonius. How are you doing? We're painting fireflies. Oh, it's so far, it's so small and dainty, you guys might not even see what we're going for here, but with this really watered down paint, I'm basically gonna draw just like little sunbeams around our little fireflies circles. And remember, it's way more water than paint, right? This is gonna dry very watered down, little sunburst. I know it's kind of blurry on there, sorry. It's so far away and small. But what we're looking at here that's really important is way more paint, water than paint. We're being pretty gentle and we're just sunbeaming it out. Maybe go around a couple times. But we want it to be soft and fuzzy. You can even clean off your brush and go back into there and pull that pigment around even more to make sure that it's that soft, fuzzy. I'm good, how are you? It's such a cute painting. Adonis, thank you. I'm great. Having fun. We're doing a good painting today. We're painting along. There's some people at home that are also painting along with us. Okay, let's keep it going. We, I can't stress enough. More water than paint. We don't want to be painting solid paint onto here. We want it to be soft, airy, watery, and when it dries, it's going to be even more translucent than you think it is when you first started putting it on. Like, let me bring this a little bit closer. How's that look? Oh my gosh, that's just so bright. The camera can't even handle it. And we're just going to keep on doing that. Fuzzy, fuzzy, more water than paint. I know I'm redundant, but I know that the water to paint consistency thing is a very hard thing for people to figure out. And that's totally fine. It's something that just comes with time. The more that you paint and the more you play with it, like you literally will know like when, like I can tell right now with how much water is on my brush, what it's going to look like on the page. And that's just from going over and over again. You're not going to, I'm not going to be able to tell you exactly how to work. You're not going to be able to guess right away until you just do it a million times. Okay. Maybe not a million, maybe a hundred thousand. What's that? A hundred thousand hours. I know I have to remember this every time I get it wrong every time, but. And guess what? If you are finding it hard or difficult, like go back in with just water on your brush and you can go back into some of these that you already did. And again, pull it around. You're just wanting to pull that pigment and stretch it through the water so that it goes on nice and translucent. Sorry for my redundant repetitiveness today, but. Also, I guess I probably should have mentioned before we started, you don't have to do this step either. Just the little yellow spots gets the point across that they're um, fireflies. One thing about this one, if you, are do if you have one that's just on the cusp of your jar, like this one is, you bring yellow over top the back ones, but don't bring yellow over top this front rim. Right, because it is behind that shape, right? And we're go oh, you guys can't even see where I'm at. Let's just keep it coming. Okay, 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 okay. And for you, I see a bunch of people kind of sneaking in right now. Don't worry if this is something that you would want to learn to paint. This video is going right up on my YouTube. Right when I'm done. And my YouTube's Tay Tasty as well. 
Tay Tay skis across the board for Etsy, Caffeine, Instagram, YouTube. Not Twitter or Facebook, unfortunately. Somebody else has Tay Tay ski there. How's it coming, everybody? Are we happy with our little guys? We can even add some to the ones in the background a little bit, just a little glow around them. It's like so funny, I realize how impatient of a painter I am. Like, this is taking too long. I don't like how long this takes. <laughs> I can just feel my body like, what's the next step? Okay. Oh, I'm not even on the camera anymore either. Just. Okay, okay, okay. How's that? Okay. One thing that I was just doing there for fun too, just as I'm playing around, I'm seeing if you want to make it like a swirl around them as well too with that water down consistency, like that's fine too. That's kind of cool. Where are me and Kenzie heading? We're just going to Banff. There's just this cute little... We got a cute little room. That's right in the main strip. And we're just gonna go from there. Oops. I'm just spinning. I took a, a style change halfway through. And I'm just making some little swirlies around them. <laughs> photo we're copying doesn't have them but I think they look cute so I'm just spinning some spins around there with again that same watered down consistency just making them have a little more movement I love Banff too and you know what's so funny whenever I travel traveling just seems like such a <laughs> thing of the past BC, that's what's so funny. People are saying like BC's before coronavirus now. Sorry, Jesus. <laughs> so BC, whenever we traveled anywhere, we talked about we're from Canada and people would be like, oh, where in Canada? And we'd be like Calgary. And I'd be like, I have no idea what you're talking about. And then they'd be like, but there's this book, Banff. I would love to go to Banff. And we're like, okay, well, if you fly to Canada to go to Banff, you have to land in Calgary. Nobody knew what Calgary was. Like, literally nobody. But everyone's like, Lake Louise, Banff. I remember in Croatia a couple years ago. So weird to say a couple years ago. It feels like it was just yesterday. But we met some Americans. And um, that was what he said. Like, he was like, oh, have you guys ever been to Banff? That's the most beautiful place I've ever seen in pictures. I'm like, yeah, it's just in our backyard, basically. We were there in an hour. Okay. Where are we at? We've got our little fireflies. We've got them glowing a little bit, right? With some crazy flailies. You can decide. What... Come on, stop being so... Maybe you bring them close and it just looks like a big ball, but there's a yellow in the middle with it around the side. <laughs> now let's paint some wisps of grass. And we're done, folks, okay? So I'm just gonna go one step up, just a tiny touch bigger than what we're just using of a paintbrush. It has a point on it. I'm going into the green that we were using before. First thing we're gonna do is add the tiniest touch of white to it, get a little bit of water, but it's still gonna be that thick paint. We don't want much. Um, we don't want too much water like we were using before. We don't want it to be translucent. We want these to go on nice and thick, okay? And we're going to start about in the mid-range. And we're just going to start flailing just like we did before. 
some wisps of grass, okay? But see, they're a little bit bigger than the skinny wisps we did before. We're still just on this like mid range. We're not all the way to the bottom. My nose is itchy. And we are gonna brush just some on. But remember how I always say like, we wanna show our work still. So we, let me get this up here too. We don't wanna cover up the back completely. We still wanna see that dark that we've laid down. We can go a little bit over our jar. You can go over the touch a little, I mean, a little bit of the fireflies in the jar. Right? How's that? We just wanna have a little bit of a value switch in there. And again, it's pretty crazy. Like, it doesn't have to be beautiful. It doesn't have to be exact. What I always say when we're doing nature things, because I know for some people too, it's hard to stray away from things being exactly symmetrical. Um, but when you're in nature and if you're painting something exactly symmetrical, it will look weird because in nature, things aren't symmetrical. So you don't want every single brush stroke to be perfectly aligned from the other one in the same shape in the same direction because then it will look mechanical and weird and it won't look like grass, you know? Okay, so we have some wispies in there. Wisp, wisp, wisp. But oh my gosh, sorry, tangent to the mountains. But yes, just like Lisa said, I'm like, yeah, we're so spoiled. We don't realize how beautiful. Well, we do, but we take it for granted compared to most people in the world, right? Okay, so we've got that mid-ground layer of green. We kind of see a little bit of change in there. And now we're gonna go in with even more white into that green. We want it to be another shade or value, I mean, a little bit higher. But what we're also gonna do, a little bit more green. we're also gonna add a touch of yellow into this little light green concoction, okay? The same yellow that we were using with our little fireflies, okay? So we've got white in there and then we've got yellow. Cause we just wanna bring a little bit of the same color of these throughout it just to make it look a little matchy. Matchy, matchy, cohesive is actually the word I'm looking for. And again, you want water on your brush so that you can pull that paint across. <clears throat> but, you don't want too much water because we want it to go on opaque, okay? So we're going to start at the bottom and we're going to do the same thing. But we're just going to do a couple of these lighter wispies, okay? Right? There's a little bit of yellow in there. For more advanced painters, like you could go over and like the amount of layers and detail and color changes that you can go on here is endless. Like you can add a little bit more, you can do this and then come back and add a little bit more white and add a little bit more just to have that much more depth and that much more value change. Um, but we can easily with these dark to a little bit light to a lot lighter, these three stages can make a lot happen. If that makes any sense. Sorry, I just like realized that that was just a ramble of confusion. Confusion. Remember, water's your friend. How is that? And see how they're going. Random directions. Not too consistent. How's that? And like I said, depending on how detailed you want to get, you can go into that green with even more white. And maybe even more yellow. And you can add a couple more highlights like onto the tips of some of these grass pieces that you've laid out. And see how already just like putting a little bit of a light highlight on top of those, bring those pieces of grass closer up. Like, let's add. How's that?
And then remember to always look at it from far away, because it always looks so much better from far. When you're stuck looking so close at the details, you're like, oh my god, this piece of grass sucks. Everyone's going to see it. It's the worst piece of grass ever. And then you, like, zoom away, and you, like, take a couple minutes, and you come back to it. You're like, oh, actually, I forgot what piece of grass I was looking at. Okay? So that's always important. How's that? See that like depth in that grass? Oh boy. Into it. Truthfully, I think I'm just gonna splatter some more yellow because I just am like that. And I love glitter and splatter. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna <laughs> I didn't even finish what I was saying. I'm gonna put some splatter and then I'm gonna throw glitter on that splatter. That's what I meant to say. What's for dinner, Tay? Actually, I have something good for dinner today. It's a chicken shawarma bowl. Okay, same thing. Remember, you got that watered down consistency. You're maybe a little more than it hangs loose away this time. And I'm just going to lightly smack on some splatter. Perfect. And then, because I love glitter. Oh, just kidding. Where is my glitter? I want gold. Where's my gold? I'm going to get some gold glitter out. I'm back and I'm aware it's March, not February. Perfect, Justin. <laughs> it does feel like February, not to be honest. I'm actually going to put some yellow spots in here too because I want them to be glittered too. So I'm just putting some yellow paint on some of these fireflies to give them some glitter. And then you hold your painting like this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and pour some glitter on your hands. And just lightly sprinkle it over top all the splatter I just put on and all those little wet droplets. A who? A chicken shawarma bowl. So good. It's a chef's plate. It's like a meal prep thing where it you choose your like recipes and they send you like the recipe and all the ingredients, only like what you need, which is great because I personally hate grocery shopping because I waste food all the time. So these like food service things where they like send you all this good stuff. Kind of saves the day. Sorry, I just tangented it again. Got it caught in the glitter. So I don't know if you guys can see, but now they're glittery. Oh, that painting was fun. It's just glitter literally everything. It kind of was a quick one. What time is it? Oh, yeah, it's 930 already. Hey, that's good. Okay, tell him to send a woman to cook it for me. Uh, Kiki, why does it have to be a woman? Why couldn't it also be a guy to come cook it for you? But I like the chef's plate because I personally do love cooking, which just falls into the stereotype that Kiki just threw on us. Just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> but, um, um, I love cooking. Um, but again, like I said, I don't like the prep and I don't know how, like I'm not good to like go to the grocery store and be like, oh, I'm going to make these four recipes this week and they all use these ingredients that'll cross over each other. And then I end up, food goes bad and whatever, or I order it, and then I feel bad about myself. So now when it comes, oops, I just kicked that. So now when it comes, it's nice, like I still cook for myself, and it's quick, and it's great, and I feel good about cooking. So Kiki doesn't want a man cooking for him, so when you go to restaurants, do you request for a female chef? And if there isn't one, do you leave? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're just, I'm just going to keep poking everyone's buttons today. 
Oh, and now there's just gold glitter literally everywhere. R.I.P. my home. Okay, painters out there. Y'all got questions? How's it going? The real question is, what's the thumbnail? Justin is right. Does anybody send in? Sorry, sorry, I just got super distracted by a text message. <laughs> Um, let's see. What should the thumbnail be? Let's get this light out of here. Safety first, don't text and paint. Literally. Get out of here. Okay. Let's just see here. What is, oh my gosh. The amount of glitter. <laughs> okay, thumbnail, you guys. This one, it's hard for these types. They're not as like creative and fun as like a character or something, you know? Be the jar. Justin says to be the jar. So what, I just photo myself into a jar. <laughs> you like the pink overalls? Uh, thank you, Lisa. You guys, I'm actually in the works right now um, of getting a full Tay Tay Ski uniform done by a friend of mine. Like overall, coverall, apron in like my own little brandy. It's a friend that I like grew up playing ring at with, and now she is making moves in her fashion industry in Vancouver. So I thought it would be really cool for us to like cross paths or what not cross paths, collab together and kind of pump each other up, which is super cool. But these pink coveralls, these are literally from Walmart. And this will be my, I've got a couple pairs, and these will be my uniform until that time comes. But okay. I um just with the fireflies i just smile with them that's all i know that's what i don't know what else to do justin direct me <laughs> just kidding i'll just smile with them i'll be at nighttime i'll just make the whole background nighttime arm hoop like the jar What? <laughs> like, like, like this. <laughs> I'll just smile with it. I'll point at it. How's that? Oh my gosh. Check this out. Do you guys want to paint this painting? Have you heard? You can paint this. In an hour or less. Right here first, folks. <laughs> There's the clip for your trailer. <laughs> yeah. 30 minutes or less. Just kidding. It's always over an hour. We always have good laughs in Tay Tay Ski Studio. Am I right? Okay, we're done. <laughs> I'm wilding out. We'll just do this. Oh. <laughs> There'll be something in there. <laughs> okay Zoolander okay that one was fun I'm happy with that one I didn't get any sent in but that's okay that is okay oh did I no I didn't but that is okay <laughs> oh well you guys you know that's good stuff that's good stuff I'm glad y'all enjoyed it. You did great. <laughs> Thanks. You're doing great, sweetie. <laughs> Usually I move too fast and I'm just like blurry and crazy, but that's fine. We'll figure it out. 
He's taking your job. He's taking your job. Okay, guys, what are we doing next week? It's a St. Patrick's theme. We are doing a cutie little leprechaun. Eh? Um, just kidding, leprechaun. I don't know where that came from. Um, and then that Friday is Games Night with Kenzie and Justin. Just a couple palatines, you know? We love a good games night. We did a giveaway last time. I don't know. I can give something away. Sure. It's the Tay Tay Ski All Star Weekend. <laughs> You'll get tired of my face soon enough, I'm sure. We haven't set the time yet. I'll post it on both Caffeine and Instagram this weekend. We will plan that. It'll be after six, though, okay? Because our little babies, they got real jobs. You know, we got to finish those real jobs. Our viewers have real jobs too. So <laughs> that's fair. I'll keep y'all posted. Um, Kiki will be at work. Maybe we'll still be going by the time we're done. Who knows? If Kenzie has anything to do with it, the answer will be no. <laughs> but we'll see. No promises. Justin might be Baby Yoda. We don't know. We don't know. Okay. Guest appearance by Joe. Hey, Joe. If you want, we haven't had guest appearances on the show before. Does Justin have a real job? Debatable. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That was shady. He has a real job. Wow, says Justin. Wow. But we had a lot of time at games night last time, okay? I think so, at least. We ended up, I literally ordered shirts that we created. Okay. On TKO. Lisa, there's one for you. <laughs> you guys, they're not even that bad quality. Schlob it on. Like, look at that font and look at that beautiful photo. Who drew that? We need to know. We need to know. Anyway, that's our trademark. TM. Schlob it on. No one else is allowed to take it. Okay. Um, but like you said, it's fun to watch. It's fun to participate. You guys can play too. We're doing Jackbox games. Maybe we'll do more um, different ones next time. I know that Justin has all them. I think we only had access to a couple last time, but maybe we'll play some other ones. So mark your calendars, you guys. The 19th. Tay Tay Ski All Star Weekend starts and ends on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> um and we will paint just kidding we're not gonna paint we're gonna play and you guys are gonna play with us okay look i'm on i'm going downhill already you guys it's happening again i have to log off before i get wild all y'all painting along today i'm sure you're still going no pressure send me a picture when you're done i'd love to see it if you tag me in your story i'll obviously share it to mine but side note, if you're private, I don't see it. I've been getting messages from people being like, why didn't you like or share my stuff? But if you're private and I am not friends with you or you haven't accepted my friend request, I won't be able to see it or share it. So just so you guys know, um, because I feel bad when you guys think I'm just ignoring you. But if you're private, I won't be able to see, even if you tag me in it. Um, yeah, you guys, see you next week. You'll see my face a couple times. All right. Good night. Catch you on the flip side. See you next week.